today's video, Purple Gang, you're gonna learn how to create smooth and seamless Instagram carousels for your Instagram page using just Photoshop and Canva. So for those who don't know what Instagram carousels are, Instagram carousels are multiple selected photos on Instagram that when you swipe them, everything in them appears connected. Say, the photos, the colors, the elements, the lines, everything in them appears as one, which is very cool and very smooth. Creators usually post these for uh, promotional and in-depth educational content. I've been posting them on my Instagram account for more than a year now, and I can't count the number of times people have asked me how I make those. So that's what I'm going to explain to you today, exactly how I create my carousels in just a couple of steps. So let's go with step one. We're going to go here on Canva to create a design and you may see Instagram poster, which is at 1080 times 1080 pixels. But for Instagram carousels to have them better and wider and longer, I will go for a different type of dimension, which makes them look much better in the end. So, Instead of 1080, 1080, we're gonna go 1080 for the width, but 1350 for the height. So now the carousel is gonna look more of a portrait type of look, making it more vertical, but in the end, when you connect them all together, it's gonna look a lot better than a 1080 and 1080. So here we are in Canva, this is from the scratch, okay? Now usually on carousels, you might have seen some creators use their logos on the top or on the bottom. They use their website, their Instagram handle, their numbers and everything like that. These are stuff that anyone can do and can change them the way they want to. So we're not gonna do these first, we're just gonna get to the images part and the text part to move right uh, faster. So uh, we go away from this one and create a new file back at the main menu here. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a file so that when I place my photos there, I can adjust them and I can edit them that way so that they can be seen in two slides or in four slides or in five slides, however I want to. So I'm gonna go for two slides and now go back to create a design and using our logic. If one carousel slide is 1080 times 1350, that means for two slides, we need a, a carousel with the width of two slides. So it's gonna be 2160 for width and 1350 for height. So the height is gonna be the same, only the width changes. We're gonna go create a new design and now we're gonna see a horizontal type of file which we will use for the carousel photo. Uh, back here on Canva, I will not change the software. I will select a cover photo for myself, which I can use for the carousel today. So I'm gonna go with this one, which is one of the posts that I have used it. So uh, right mouse click, set image as background. Now this is how the image is gonna look like on the carousel, but to have a better preview and a better adjustment to it, I go to the elements here and I add a square. Basically, you can just type here square at the elements or you can find it at the lines and shapes. I will make this one a 1080 and 1350 with dimensions. So pretending that this is my first slide. The reason I do this is that I can use it as a preview to see how my carousel and my cover is gonna look like when I actually make it. So this is by just lowering the transparency, I am able to kind of have like a preview of what's gonna be seen when I add the text and everything else. So currently I do not like the position of the photo here. So I'm just gonna double tap on it and I'm gonna move it with the uh, sides adjustments like this, keeping it always on the center. This way, I like it more this way. So now I will go to the text here and I will add the headline text, which is still going to be a preview. This is not the main text because I will go to Photoshop for that due to the gradients, which you cannot do on Canva. So I will just use this as a preview to see how it would look like on the original version, close to that. So. Let's pretend the title is Learn Canva Today. This is just an example. On carousels, always the line spacing should be tight in between so that we can make them bigger and still fit enough spacing. So the position is good, it has good contrast. I'm gonna go with this one. Now, to do it better, I'm gonna delete the square and delete the text and download just the image on its own. Okay, so the photo is now downloaded. Uh, we're just gonna upload it here on Canva inside and now I'm gonna play around with it and do the 1080 and 1350 file. So we go back to the original one. We're gonna upload the picture, right mouse click again, set image as background. Obviously this is not the position where I want it to be so I'm gonna double tap on it and I'm gonna move it with the mouse. See, I'm just using the mouse in this direction. This is the form where I like it. Next step is I'm going to download this and I'm gonna move this on Photoshop. When I do that on Photoshop, what happens next is 
uh, I can use gradients and I can use drop shadows that you cannot use them on Canva or in many other softwares. That's the reason why I always choose Photoshop and you basically don't need to have the best Photoshop. You can even do this with a CS6. So now I'm just gonna go for open and I'm gonna show the image that we just downloaded. This one here. We're gonna go with the same title because that's the content that we're creating. Uh, I'm just gonna do some font adjustments here and let's go learn Canva today. I'm gonna click the move tool, control A, control A and move it to the middle with this one. Control D to deselect. Holding the shift button and the arrow, I'm just gonna move it to the corners in this way. Of course, if we don't like it, we can make it bigger, we can make it smaller, we can do different colors, that all depends on your content and your branding. But just to have it clear, I'm not gonna see those uh, elements right now, we're just gonna see how we can actually do it. So, to the right mouse click on the layer, I will go to the blending options and to the drop shadow. Now I have fixed some uh, drop shadow here, which is my default one now, but uh, according to your style, you can fix it on your own or you cannot use it at all, as you wish. Next selection is gonna be gradient overlay, which is also uh, our default that I have made. So this is the basically the brand color that I use. So in your case, it can be green, it can be red, it can be whatever. When I finish this here, I'm gonna go and click save as to the desktop and save it as a GPAG, okay? And now I'm gonna upload that to Canva, right here. Desktop, here it is. When this one is over, this is gonna be the carousel cover, which I'm going to simply come here and click on replace background using the right mouse click. That's the first slide, that's the cover slide. To get to the next slide now, I'm just gonna click on add page or duplicate, and I'm gonna go back to the 2160 file Replace background, only this time I'm gonna push it to this way. So now I can go on with the next post, the next slide I mean, and then place the text something else. So obviously I'm not gonna place here heading title, so I'm gonna go to the text now and go to something small like this and say, here's how to learn Canva in one day. Wish that was true. You're gonna need a lot of practice. So here it is, this is what it's gonna be like. That's basically the scratch step. So you can always add an arrow or you can add multiple elements as you wish. Of course, in my carousels, when you take a look at them, I add smokes, I add a lot of elements like arrows and circles and lines and dots, everything that can just make it look more high technology and more futuristic. Uh, in your case, you don't have to do that. You can just go continue with black one. Getting to the third slide now, I'm just gonna go on duplicate the page and now using Canva software which kind of like shows us the similar colors based uh, on the photo that we have used I'm gonna use this one to make it for this type of background so that everything can be seamless obviously if I go with the white color it's gonna it's not gonna look connected and therefore the carousel is not gonna be smooth or anything attractive or authentic so we have to make everything connected, even that this may not be a part of your color palette, you still have to go with it in order to fit it in. So uh, my color palette can be black, can be dark blue, can be anything that is dark. So it's not actually one specific color, it's anything dark, white, and then also purple. So this is how we continue with the third slide. For the fourth slide, we go like this. For the fifth one, we always duplicate. The reason why we duplicate and we do not click add page is because when we click on add page, nothing that we have made is gonna show up. It's just gonna be the black background. So if you had a footer, a logo, or your slide number placed here, you would have to copy them and paste them or make them from the beginning on each of the slides, which is a lot of uh, time wasting and we don't have all day to create carousels. The faster we do them, the better they are. That it is for us actually. So this is the way how I go to do it. And there you go, four slides, five slides, and then in the end. If you want for anything more extra or something already done for you, you can always purchase my templates on my Instagram link in bio or on my website, which is written down here. Uh, you can get carousel templates, single post templates in which you only replace your colors, your elements, and you continue and do your own thing. So this is how to do a carousel for the very first steps. What you need to know, more importantly, to have it smooth, to have it connected together, for more detailed tips, we're going to continue on the next videos. 
I hope you liked this one and you found it informative. Try to do this first, practice it on your own, and later on you will see how good your carousels are gonna be with just practice. So in today's video we only learned the essentials and the basic skills to create a carousel from scratch to at least something. So later on, if you keep on practicing, it's gonna be a lot easier and a lot better for you to create carousels. So stay tuned for the next videos, which we will be explaining more in detail about how to create the footer, how to create the special effect like the fire, the smokes, uh, typography, and many more other elements to create amazing Instagram carousels and amazing designs in general, because that's what we do here. Thank you for viewing this video. I hope you found it informative. If you did, like it, share it, support for me because it really helped me out. Thank you for joining today's video and I'll see you next time.